Hello, everybody. We really appreciate you being here. And I imagine most of you are here for the same reason I am. We're parents, and we need, always need help, but especially in the world today. I have three kids, eight, six, and four. And I constantly get asked, Mom, why can't I have that? And I tell them it's because we have no money. And they tell me, well, Mom, you better get a better job. <laughs> so obviously, I need some advice as well. So we're very thrilled to have Dawn here. Let me tell you a little bit about Dawn Billings. First of all, she's authored over 20 books, so many of them on parenting and that type of thing. She really knows her stuff. She's been selected as one of the nation's 80 emerging women leaders by Oprah Magazine and the White House Project, so very impressive. She is the CEO and founder of the Hartley Women's Network. It's an innovative women's networking organization. It has over 140 locations throughout different countries. Very impressive. And there, you can read more about that if you'd like. She is committed, committed to easing the burdens women face in today's economy. So she has created the God Can. It's an inspiring and uplifting opportunity for women who feel stressed, confused, angry, or anxious, or all of the above things, <laughs> uh, to release the burdens, you know, on their hearts. So obviously we are all for that. Dawn also created an uplifting website, which you might want to check out. It's called Women Lifting the World. It's just short inspirational videos to uplift and encourage and inspire fire, the hearts, you know, those you love, and, and uh, obviously just to kind of get you going throughout the day. Also, she has something called the Hearts, the Heart Notes Garden, and you can actually plant a virtual flower and send it with a little brief heart note to somebody that you care about who may need a little extra love that day. It's, it's a great idea, actually. She really has a passion for making a difference in people's lives, women, men, children, families. And we are thrilled she's here tonight to make a difference in ours. Let's welcome Dawn Billings. I am so excited to be back. I lived in Oklahoma for 37 years. Both of my sons were born in Oklahoma, and I raised my sons in Oklahoma. What a magnificent state. Now I live in Phoenix, and it is so much fun to come home. And what is really exciting for me is that tonight, we are going to have such a good time because we're going to learn a lot about the Gimme Monster called Entitlement. How many of you have met the Gimme Monster? Or how many are you living with the Gimme Monster? Exactly. Not only are we going to learn a lot about what it is, how it came about, how it affects us, but we're going to learn how to combat it. Now, with, is that cool? We're also going to learn all about how parenting as a whole kind of got a little bit confused. How many of you as parents feel really frustrated and stressed sometimes? I'm going to help you understand how we got there and then how to turn it around. Would that be cool? But the thing I'm most excited about is that you are the very first audience in the world to get to see and learn about the new parenting toy called the Capables. They just arrived last uh, month, and um, so this is, it's very exciting to be able to come back home and share uh, this wonderful, amazing toy and tool with you, along with all of this other information. So here we are, getting ready to talk about the Gimme Monster. What is the Gimme Monster, and what age does it come after the hearts of our children? Interestingly, preschool children are three times as likely to be expelled as children in kindergarten through 12th grade, according to a new study that was done in 2004. Think about that. Preschool children are being expelled. How does that happen? Have you ever wondered how that happened? It happens because we're finding that children are stronger willed and they have bigger voices and they've been taught to express themselves, which is very good. But in the midst of all of that, there's not quite as much control. So we're finding that the gimme monster is attacking children as early as we already always knew about the terrible twos. But now we're finding that we're moving into the terrible threes, the struggling fours, the frightening fives. So the gimme monster is after our children. If I can help you defeat 
the gimme monsters attack on your children's hearts, would you feel it's time well spent together this evening? I need a little more reaction from you. I'm going to give you another chance. How many have kids, no kids, teach kids, or love kids with a gimme monster attitude? Got some of those. Here's your second chance. Be ready. If you leave here tonight knowing how to inspire great attitudes and transform bad attitudes, would you be glad you came? Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm looking for right there. And the Gimme Monster's name is Entitlement. Now, how many of you have been aware of entitlement for some time? Or is this kind of a new thing that you've, you've heard of? Wouldn't you say that in the last several years, entitlement has gotten to be a bigger and bigger problem with our children? And entitlement's goal is to destroy the happiness, hope, passion, purpose, and success we dream for our children. And it works to, to destroy it. I have been for years traveling and speaking to parents. As, as um, I, in the introduction, you heard that I've written over 20 books. Well, one of the things that happens is that when you, and I'll be sharing, I'll be really gut honest with you tonight, I'm going to lay myself bare. Uh, the reason I became a parenting expert is because I had my first child and I was an absolute disaster as a parent. I meant to do everything right. You know, I loved him so much. I had the greatest hope and dreams and ideas and I went to, I, I studied psychology, that was my degree. And so I had all of the best intentions. Uh, can any of you relate? And then made some really boo-boos that I didn't even know were huge boo-boos. So we're gonna be talking about those tonight. 98% of all of the parents that I interview as I travel around the country, when I ask them what is the most important thing, what is the one thing that you want for their children, what do you think their answer is? Yeah. Happiness, absolutely. The number one thing they want for their children is happiness. But what is happiness and where does it come from? This is where they get a little confused. They say, I don't know, that's why I'm in this seminar. I mean, I'm trying to give my kids everything that I can think of that will help them to be happy, and they're not happy, but worse than that, neither am I. So what we're gonna learn tonight is about happiness and what that means. Happiness is really born out of the things that fill our hearts. We are here tonight to learn the secrets to inspiring children to live the greatness within them. How many of you believe that there is greatness within your child? Absolutely. There isn't a parent that I have ever met that doesn't believe and know and see on occasion that there is greatness within their child. But how do we get that to come out, hang out, eat dinner with us? You know, How do we get it to actually live in their bedrooms and go to school with them? That's what we're going to be thinking about tonight. 